Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I have a surprise mini haul that I was not expecting. My husband took us out for our anniversary and my birthday because he's going to be out of town for both and decided to treat me to some art supplies. So um, he went ahead and bought me this cutting board. It's typically used for like quilting and stuff. We actually have one already, but I don't want to ruin the one that I use for sewing for art supplies. And he wanted me to have a nice surface that wouldn't have the light glaring and reflecting on the desk and to help protect the desk. So this is the first item. And then he got me these. I've got the set number one of the Dr. P.H. Martin's Bombay India inks and the Dr. P.H. Martin's Iridescent. And I was so super excited. Our local Michaels has a sale going on right now for Mother's Day and we got the mat for $18 it's normally 30 and then these were on sale this was $35 from 110 these are normally 65 and we got those for 30 so he actually let me go into the store to make sure that this is you know let me pick out exactly what I wanted so as soon as I seen these I knew I had to have them so I'm very very happy with them I'll go ahead and open these up I actually have the brown already and the black sparkle that I purchased individually last year for Inktober. So I already have those. That's okay. I already know I'm familiar with these inks. And Inktober this year should be interesting. We have a Bombay Green. Oh, and they are light, fast, and waterproof. And it's supposed to be non-toxic. You can use them for calligraphy. You can paint with them there's a lot of different uses for them so there's all kinds of things I can do with this I have grass green magenta red the bright red yellow white black brown, violet, blue, and teal in set one. And these are little droppers that they have in there. So you can drop them into palettes if you'd like or on your work. I am not going to keep the containers. I have a storage unit for these. So those are going to be added to that. And then in the iridescent set, we have iridescent green. And you can see it's got some sparkle and shimmer to it. It needs shaken since it's been sitting for a while, but I'm not going to use it at the moment. There is iridescent orchid. Iridescent salmon. And you can see all the might get in there settled on one side. Iridescent yellow, silver, iridescent white, which is a pearl. There's copper plate gold, black sparkle, which I really like. Like I said, I have this one already and it's like a, kind of like a tungsten carbide color. Iridescent deep blue. Iridescent violet. Iridescent blue. And iridescent jade. So I've got quite a selection here. I'm going to go ahead and get these all swatched out and then I'll come back and discuss them.
now that I got everything swatched out, this is what it looks like up close. Um, the normal uh, Bombay line is uh, actually showing up on the black a lot well, a lot better than I thought it would. I didn't realize that it would have a shiny gloss to it if it was really heavy in the area and saturated when it dries. Some colors are more opaque than others like the brown. I left a little bit of the black Sharpie around the edge of this one just to show that the Bombay black is actually darker than the Sharpie. As far as the iridescent colors, they're not quite as opaque. They will still show up on the black. The Salmon and the Orchid has a blue shimmer to it, so it kind of um, varies depending on which direction that you're looking at it. The blues seem, and the greens, the copper, the sp so this half down seems to be more opaque than the rest. This is that black sparkle that I have used before, and as you can see, the sharper, Sharpie is darker. So compared to the regular black, it's more of like a dark gray, but it does have a sparkle to it. I know the more layers that you put on it, the more opaque they become. I have a sick child right now, so I'm not going to be doing a art piece at the moment, but I will show you a couple that I have done last year for Inktober. This one was Winsor & Newton for the gold and the silver, but everything else on here, even the wash on the water, is from this iridescent black sparkle it can be diluted put wet on wet like a watercolor to get like a blooming and a marble effect you can lift it while it's still wet once it dries it's set it isn't going to go anywhere and this was i think maybe two coats for the background so, I mean, you can still kind of see some of the color of the paper showing through, but I didn't mind that. I kind of like that effect on this picture. This one, same thing. This uh, copper, though, was speedball. But I put a couple coats around the background with that black sparkle, and this is how it turned out. So, I mean, it's got shimmer, but you could definitely see, like, the brush marks and such on them now it does say that it is for calligraphy rubber stamping airbrush i you could also use a paintbrush like i i did to to do all the rest of this there's not supposed to be any start and stop marks i'm not sure for calligraphy if that is true because I have not tried using them for calligraphy yet. I went ahead and was practicing my hand lettering on this paper but I haven't filled it in to test it yet. I am very happy with it. I do look forward to trying different things with them and actually making more pieces. I think this collection is going to be quite helpful come October for Inktober this year. I'll have more colors and variety to work with. But other than that, I'm going to leave that here. Oh, I guess one other thing, since this is a Mother's Day thing, I just have to show these. My son decided to get these for me. And even though, you know, they're not high quality brushes, I'm sure I can find a use for them. I thought that was very sweet of him to think that I would like something like this and then I got this from my daughter. So I'm going to probably use this to put my brushes in because it's a decorative cup. It's not one that I could actually drink coffee out of. So I thought that was really nice. I'll have that sitting here on my desk now. So that's it for this video. Thank you for stopping by and watching and have a great day.